Okay, so I'm gonna take you through a recipe today, which I hope you will enjoy, and it's for a beef stew. I'm obviously gonna be using our homebred Highland beef, which I believe to be of the highest quality, um, but you can use any beef that you like. And I'm also about to go out and dig up some leeks, which is why I've got my coat on. And so I'm gonna take you through, I hope you'll enjoy it. These two should do. So I've washed off the leeks. They will obviously need to be chopped. This is the beef for the star of the show. We've got 1.6 kilos. This is of beef top side, but you could use brisket or silver side, or you could just use diced up beef. Four large onions, diced carrot, diced garlic, probably about five carrots, some mixed Italian herbs, oxo cubes, salt and pepper, whole grain mustard, chopped tomatoes times two, jug of water ready to um, pop the oxo in, tomato puree, the leeks which are grown here, and a big pan. And that's your lot. So first off, I need to give the leeks a good chop down, rinse all the soil off. Um, and get those ready to be added to the pan. So I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to attack the beef as it were, chop it down into bite-sized chunks. Now, you may have seen there that I have used the whole entire leek. I've only really removed the absolutely necessary raggedy pieces that don't look so appetizing. Um, I so often see leeks that are trimmed down, um, wasting so much, um, whereas I'm gonna use the whole leek. And I always think that the really dark green, um, dark green means loads of nutrients, really good for us. So no waste here. Dad normally comes in for his mid-morning um, coffee at this time, so let's see if he performs according to what I believe. So far, I'll get welcome. What have you been doing this morning? I took a bit of, well, the, cow, the uh, Highland cows on the moor are only about getting off three weeks off carving. So I've just increased the feed a bit. I've taken my bale of hayley this morning. They've perhaps been all right till tonight, but they've got it, so that's good. Brought a bale up from the bottom land, and I've just collected some wood up near a gateway in a mowing field. Now it's like I'm having a lovely drink and a piece of cake. Mid-morning snack. Mid-morning snack. Then I'm going to make some uh, emergency lambing pens in the top shed. We lamb outside, but also have Ooh, eight to ten pens ready in case the weather's bad or we have a problem to bring in. It's my theory, if we have them, we may not need them. If we haven't got them made, we would do, so here we go. Yeah. So, before I chop it up, let's have a look at the beef. Looks all right to me.
Okay, once the meat has browned or started to brown, I'm gonna add the onions and the leeks and pop the lid on. So I've sweated off the leeks and the onions for a few minutes with the beef and now it's just a case of adding the other ingredients and leaving it to go low and slow um, and so the order that they go in is um, doesn't make any difference. It's all about the cooking time. Okay so we've got the carrot, garlic, After the first um, litre of water, I've decided I'm going to add another 500 ml and I've rinsed out the cans of chopped tomato. So in is going to go another 500 ml of liquid. You want a fair bit of liquid. And then I've got whole grain mustard. Tomato puree. And last but not least, seasoning, salt and pepper. And then my favourite bit, apart from eating it, obviously, is giving it a good old mix. And then it's just a case of waiting for the slow cooking magic to happen. All those flavours to come out and blend together and everything to soften down and go lovely and tender. And whilst that's cooking, the work doesn't stop. I've got my gloves um, and my warm hat on because it's a cold day today and I'm gonna go off and do more stone picking, which is what I was also doing yesterday. Okay, so as you can see, everything has cooked down quite nicely. The meat will be breaking apart. There you go, really easily. Um, so that's after three and a half hours and I'm happy with how much it's reduced. So I'm gonna switch the heat off now, put the lid back on and just leave it until I'm ready to serve up later. So after a cold day of working outside, um, I've been looking forward to this and so time to portion it out, heat up the, the amount that we want and serve with some potatoes, broccoli and peas and hopefully it'll be a nice hearty warming dinner. Here it is, all ready to go and I just need to portion out and serve now for our dinner. Thanks for watching. We're going to eat our dinner. See you in another video.